We're exploring relationships between objects and using the NCD framework. We have a playlist here that keeps track of several videos. Each playlist has many videos, and then each video can be part of a playlist. That's done here by this list of videos. And uh, down here in main, let me stub out some some dummy data. Maybe grab the data from the last video. And, and I want to set up a scenario here that should get you thinking. Hold on for a sec. Okay, I pulled this from the last video. I have a playlist here. And I have a video. We haven't connected either one of these objects to the context here. Let's do that. I'm going to say, hey, me playlist dot videos. Uh, gets new list of videos. You saw why I had to do that. We got a null reference exception. Otherwise, let's add me video to the list of videos that's inside of this playlist. And then I'll say db dot uh, playlist dot add me playlist and db dot save changes. Now here's the first question I want to ask you: uh, Will the video be saved into the database? Second question: Will the playlist be saved into the database? Third question: Will both of them be saved into the database, or just one of them, or so on and so forth? We've added the playlist to the context. The context knows about the playlist. The playlist knows about the video here. So will this video show up in the database? I think it's safe to say that the playlist will show up in the database because we added the playlist directly to the context. The context being the pipeline back to SQL Server. But uh, will this video show up? Pause the video. Think about it. Wrestle with it. I'll control a five this and see the answer. So go ahead. Okay, control a five. Build that. Run that. Let our program think for a minute. Press any key to continue. Go back over here. Drum roll, please. F5. And you can see that the video and the playlist were added to the database. So that's kind of cool. We have this playlist as that's like the mothership. And when I add a video, that automatically connects the video to the database. So that's really cool. Let me add, set up another scenario here. Uh, don't blink. Okay, here's a scenario I want you to consider. I now have two playlists. Uh, the title for the first playlist is Entity Framework. That's the playlist we've been working on through all these videos. Then I added the second playlist I called Epicness. And then I have a single video here. I called it The Next Viral Hit. Share it with your friends. And this video is so awesome that it gets to be in two different playlists. It gets to belong in the uh, Me playlist, which is the Entity Framework playlist. And I also put it in Me Other playlist, uh, which is the Epicness playlist. So both these playlists, I added the video to both of these playlists. I add the playlist to the DB, which also connects the database to our DB context. And I say db.savechanges. Can you think of any issues that might arise with this setup? In fact, going over to our database, I'll tell you, you might be able to identify an issue. If you look real close at how this is set up down here, I encourage you to pause the video and try to come up with, with what's wrong. You know, one of these things is not like the other. One of these things is not the same. I, I encourage you to try to figure that out before I actually tell you what the problem is. Uh, the problem lies right here, this playlist ID. Each video, this is the videos table, each video, wow, a straight line, I've never drawn one that straight. Um, each video is responsible for tracking which playlist it is in. And now, over in Visual Studio, you can see that this video has two playlists to track. This playlist, this video is in two playlists. And so what ID are you going to put here? The way a video tracks which playlist it is in is by putting the ID here. And we're going to have two playlists now. We're going to have an ID of one, Entity Framework. That's not new. And then we're going to have two, I think I called it Epicness, or something like that in code. And so if this video is a member of both of these playlists, what number is going to go over here in the playlist ID? We, we can put a one, we can put a two. Can we put both in there? No, you can't put two values in one cell. It's like against everything sacred in relational database tables. You can't put two values here. So how is this one video going to track that it's in, in both of these playlists? I'm going to go back to Visual Studio. I'm going to hit a 5 or Control F5. I'm going to run this. And can you think of what's going to happen? Pause the video. Think about it. Try to, try to come up with something. Control F5. Build that. Run that. It runs to completion. No errors. Let's go back over here. I'm going to hit a 5. I want to look at the data in our database, how things were set up. I hit a 5. Here's the Epicness playlist. Here's the Entity Framework playlist. And the video lost track of the fact that it's stored in two playlists. Okay, it only stores one playlist ID, and that playlist ID is the Epicness playlist ID. So as far as SQL Server is concerned, this video is actually not in the Entity Framework uh, table, and we just lost that information. Let's see if we can examine a little bit why. In fact, actually, 
let's 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 uh, make a let's make a function here, function method, whatever you want to call them. Static void display. Actually, dummy. Let's let's write two string <laughs> on playlist. Let's override uh, two string, and I will return the playlist title plus uh, colon. Plus, I want to display all the videos inside of that playlist. So I'll say videos. I'm thinking of doing some fancy link here. Maybe call the aggregate function with link, but maybe we'll just do this kind of old school and archaic uh, string title uh, plus that, and then for each. This is probably the slowest string way of doing things, but for each video vid in videos. And we'll just say, uh, I don't want title, sorry, string ret gets the title plus all that stuff. Sorry, that might have been confusing. We just want to tack on the video title for every video inside of the playlist. And it's video instead of, inside of videos. Ret plus equals vid.title plus a comma. Nothing fancy there. This is probably not the most ideal way to do that, but whatever let's move on and then we're going to return ret that's our string we'll build up so we have the for each playlist we'll display the title and the videos inside of that playlist so then down here I say console write line me playlist and control L control V V to paste that me other playlist so we're gonna look at the contents of the videos in both of these playlists I added me awesome video to both of these playlists, so I would expect that both these playlists should have me awesome video inside of it. Control F5 that, build that, run that. You can see the entity framework doesn't have the next viral hit in it. The epicness video playlist did. Me other playlist has it, but but the entity framework playlist kind of lost it. Well, that's kind of weird. Let's let's, let's 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 take these console right lines and actually put them right here. I'm going to put them above the part where we add the playlists to our DB context. Now, I don't want the entity framework to know about anything quite yet. Let's just let's, let's do a sanity check here and make sure this awesome video is inside of uh, both playlists. It should be. Control F5, run that, and now you can see that the next viral hit is in both playlists, but then after I add the playlist to the entity framework, I connect them up, the entity framework takes over and says, hmm, that's not gonna work. We can't have me awesome video in both playlists, so the any framework kind of arbitrarily decides which one it wants to fry. <laughs> In fact, I don't even have to do save changes. It's just as soon as we connect these playlists to the any framework, the any framework says, "Oh, we got this video on both, and a video can only belong in one because that's the way the schema is set up uh, down here." But also, the schema is more determined by the structure of our objects up here. I'll talk about that in the next video. But for now, I just want you to notice: me awesome video could not be in both playlists at the same time, and and the entity framework enforced that. It says, nope, no soup for you. The entity framework doesn't have the next viral hit, but the epicness video does have the next viral hit. What we really need is a many-to-many -many relationship, and I'll show you how to set that up and manipulate that in the next video.